Pedro Hizler looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. What he wants is that right hand to land. And what he normally does as a setup is engages and then retreats a little to try to draw you towards him. Walking into the punch, much more effective at knocking the man out. I was trying to keep that distance in there again, working on that left jab and exchanging now with Izzo. And right glanced the nose of Justin and he gave Pedro Izzo a little nod as to say, yeah, you caught me. Izzo about 20 pounds heavier than when he last fought over 13 months ago. Obviously confident, one of the outstanding fighters in MMA history back in it tonight here in the Cajun Dallas. Ooh, that one struck. And Pedro Hizzo has got a tremendous pace going right now. And oh, now another right hand. hand. The right hand knocks down. Pedro Hizzo had done all the damage. There's the right that knocks down Eilers, did not knock him out. He's lucky he didn't hurt his knee the way he got folded over. But right here, he's doing very, very well. Just that little right hand, bang. And Eiler was momentarily in La La Land, but he came back. Well, you can hear that impact of each of Hizzo's right hands. Now, like he did to start the fight here early in the second round, he wants to stand up. And there he takes a nice, solid jab from his. I thought they were going to riot, but they were just celebrating. Ooh, nice left hook. Oh, a right hand Good by the Eilers. Eilers. Eilers perhaps best punch. He's coming right back. Oh, and another right. Oh, nice knee. And that backed Eiler up. And Took again, it's Hizzo being the aggressive fighter with another knee. Eilers was in trouble in the first. Will he be so here? And Hizzo with the knee again. You can hear the corner of Eilers or just to our right. Of the nose. Ooh, nice kick. Working down the left, off most of the way. Hizzo, even when he hasn't landed, another good kick. This one up a little. If he throws a punch, maybe he throws one, two punches, and then, then breaks. If he could get a combination together, three, four punches in a row. And oh, then another kick, and I think that stung him more than any of them yeah, to the left leg. He's starting to lip a little. Hizzo continues to measure off Justin Eilers. Big swing. That roundhouse, and now Eilers is hurt late. The bell is going to save him. The bell is going to Glory days of the UFC. He hasn't lost a step here against Eiler. And there, that one punch caught Eiler. Eiler turned his back. And that's dangerous stuff when you have an opponent closing looking to hit you in the head. And I tell you, that big swing of the leg, I think, threw him off. He didn't know his oak could still get it up there that high and that fast. And that definitely stunned him because he did not react well. But he's still around. His own. Ever the veteran, the KG veteran, mixing it up nicely. Oh, and Eilers, yeah, tells the story, doesn't it? That's really what it was all about there. Even though the knee didn't quite get there, it did the damage. A lot of thought. The idea is to try to catch him when his diaphragm is loose and his belly's not tight. If he's, if he knows it's up from the get-go of this fight. Now under two minutes to go in this inaugural IFA World Heavyweight Championship match. Pedro Izzo in the blue, <laughs> coming out of retirement, still delivering the blows to Eilers. Look at Izzo, he's got his second win. He's more time and have one more flurry here against Izzo, who has been the dominant puncher throughout this fight. Eiler needs to get to his feet. Matter of submission, and he's not known for his submission. Under a minute to go, and Izzo is... Still landing punch decision, and now the IFA heavyweight champion Pedro Hizzo. Awarding the IFA belt is a commitment.